What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. Before the video starts, I just want to say this is, uh, the background is going to be a bit noisy. Uh, that's because there's road work going on outside and, you know, there's not much I can do about that. But, uh, anywho, this is NG Models January 2022 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so essentially, this is a much smaller release than usual, uh, just because, uh, Chinese New Year is coming up in China and NG's not going to be able to manufacture the amount of models that they usually do. Uh, due to the fact that the big holiday is coming up. But, uh, yeah, starting off here, they're already releasing two March 2022 uh, models. I do think this is uh, just for pre-order. Uh, they said it on Instagram that it was just for pre-order. This is the um, Aviastar TU204 in the Kai Niao livery. Um, interesting. This is in the Kai Niao livery. Uh, sorry, this one is. Both of them are in the Kai Niao liveries, but one is a Tupolev TU-204, uh, and one of them is a 757-200. Uh, uh, now, the 757-200 is registered in Victor Quebec Bravo Golf Golf. Uh, it's 1-400, to and it's 46 bucks. And the Tupolev TU-104 uh, in the Kai Niao Aviastar TU livery uh, is a Russian-registered TU-204 uh, Romeo Alpha six four zero three two uh and the tuple of 104 costs the same as the seven five now it's interesting all of the models in this release cost the same amount of money uh but uh yeah moving on down the line these are the two models that i'm most excited about uh this one is the united 737 uh 900r and their continental retro livery uh now i do need a lot of more 739s for newark i have one on order uh but i do plan to order more as ng releases them uh this one i'm definitely gonna get uh as i have also seen this not only in denver but i've also seen it in newark before so uh the registration on this thing is remember 75435 and it's in the retro library as you guys can see uh it's one to 400 scale and it's 46.99 continuing on down the line we have a united 757 200 if the if the image ever loads uh we have the united continental 757 200 uh now this is on ebay i believe this model goes for like 90 bucks the german jets version of this um so i do think that it's a good thing that ng is releasing it this one's definitely gonna have a lot of demand but um registration is number four one one three five it's one to four hundred and it's 46.99 now I don't think I'm gonna go for this because I have a lot of seven fives in order. Um, Newark doesn't get that many seven fives. United only has twenty in their fleet anyway. I believe it's twenty uh, in their fleet anyway. Firstly and secondly, I already have the uh, Evo Blue on the way. I have a my uh, her here California one. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of seven fives that I have on the way. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up getting this. Anywho, continuing on down the line, we have an American Chrome 757-200. This one looks pretty nice. The registration is November 174 Alpha Alpha, and it's 46 bucks and 1 to 400. And the last model in this release is the Chengdu Airlines ARJ-21. Registration is Bravo 605 November, and as usual, it's 46.99. Now, uh, like I said before, the only model that I definitely should go for, or I am going to go for, is the Continental 739. I may go for the 752 and maybe the American One World. Now, the reason why I'm probably going to go for the American One World is because this thing is going to become, become pretty rare. I mean, Jim and I just released it, and now the thing goes for like $300 on eBay. So, this one's going to become uh, really rare. Oh, and... Uh, Registration on this is November 174 Alpha Alpha. And uh, yeah, this was a pretty small release. But that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so it's my videos. And comment down below what you guys are getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.